to Divine Bold Beginnings 93. What's up, BBB93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our returning subscribers for coming back. And for everyone that watched the video that aren't subscribed to the channel, thank you as well. So this reading is for our Divine Masculine and Feminine. This is the fire and desire that is burning inside of you guys. Um, this video has nudity in the cards. So, this video is for 18 and older, okay? 18 and up, please. Um, and if you don't like to see pictures with, you know, naked individuals on them, um, that's fine. But that is what this reading is for, okay, you guys? So, make sure in this video you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly bye-bye. Without further ado, let's get into this reading. So, to start off, we have a few messages from one another um it can be messages that you both are mirroring about each other so yeah let's get to those so the first message we have is i appreciate your honesty and because it's a general reading you guys for your situation you know what that pertains to so i'm not really going to get too much into the cards i'm going to get more into the reading more than these cards okay the next card you have is i'm really grateful to have you in my life i'm gonna wait for that one because i feel like these are gonna go into the reading you have helped me feel more optimistic about my future thank you You inspire me to be a better person. You are one of the most trustworthy people I know. Your encouragement has made me stronger. Thank you. Okay, and then the last three cards you guys have here. You have great taste. I admire your caring nature. I hope my child grows up to be like you. Yeah, the energy I'm getting from those last three cards is the bond you guys share with one another. And it comes out strong. Um, even if you're around other people, they see the bond so strong that it's undeniable. Okay, and then this last card definitely is like the icing on top. It's wanting to build, wanting to have a family. Um, if some of you don't have children together or if you have children together wanting to have children again wanting to build a family So without further ado, let's get into the reading. Let's see what pops out The Knave of Wands. I'm going to get a few cards first and then I'm going to go into the energy that I'm feeling from the cards. The Wheel. The Six of Swords. I feel like these are some of the cards that we received the last time in our reading. The Two of Swords. The Knight of Swords. I'm going to take this last one. The Seven of Cups. Okay. So let me just pull these down a little bit. I'm going to show the camera a little more. Um... 
just have to make sure everything was centered when I show you guys. Still getting used to the setup, you guys. So let me just take a moment. Let me look over everything. Okay, I feel like with the Knave of Wands here, it's the passion between you guys are just so so strong and it's whoever this person is they could be really into your breast I feel like this person wants to undress you it's like they don't want you to undress yourself they want to undress you it's kind of the energy of, I want to please you. I want to give you what you're worth, if that makes sense. It's like, this person just want to be so passionate towards you. They could want to have adventurous moments in, the, in nature, you know, I'm going to say in the wild. Because we do have the Six of Swords here, like, on the ground, out and about, you know. But whoever this person is, with the will being here, they put you on a high pedestal. Like, you could have already had an encounter with this person, or this person could be dreaming of this encounter. Because we do have the Seven of Cups here, the Seven of Chalices here. Um, but however it is, like... They really admire your body. Your body to them is so beautiful. They love the way that you're free with your body as well. I feel like for somebody, you may not feel as though you're free with it, but this is what they want to like either bring out in you so when you're around them, they want you to be that free type of person. Or you could have expressed this to them, that you're free in that, in that way, and they want to be just as free with you. This person want to continuously give you memories that you can't forget okay I feel like this person may have like in the best way of saying this a split personality like one moment they can be this passionate person they can be this person that's you know loving romantic and pleasing and at the same time it's this knight of swords that they want to just dominate but they it's like the energy here is showing you off they feel you know very pleased to have you around they feel very comfortable with you but at the same time it's like they don't want to hurt you so that's why this this passion here is more of a a loving nature it's like They could be trying to warm you up and the way it starts off is with this passion. This slow, smooth, and steady passion. Then it gets on to the, you know, the little more rough things, you know. But I feel like um, for some of you, if you had like a third party situation going on, or you may have thought this person had either other females involved, this is a clear sign to you that you're the only one that this person thinks about. You're the only one that this person wants to open up to in this way. It's kind of like this person wants to show you all their battle scars. 
And if, if you see this, like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> if you see this, like, the, the sword is down. So it's like, they're not fighting this. They don't want to fight this anymore if they've been fighting it. They want to... They want to lay everything down. <laughs> Literally and, you know. <laughs> it's like this person just... Just want to feel your energy because it's something about your energy here that excites them and brings them joy. But at the same time, they just want to please you because if you look at the wheel again, like these, these other women or other people, they're not as bright as the one that's up here. The one that's up here, like she's, she's in this sun, in this energy of love. And that's what I feel when I see her. But when I see them, it's not to say that they don't have that potential. It's just that for this particular person, that's not what they see. Like, can't nobody type, uh, excuse me, can't nobody top you other than them. And you guys know which way I'm talking about with that. But I'm talking about as far as your energy, can't nobody top you. Can't nobody top the stuff that you do. Like, you're so real and raw and I was gonna say open but I feel like I'm doing too many puns <laughs> but it's it's just like the you're just so natural and real and down to earth I feel like this person just want to be so adventurous with you when it comes towards this encounter. The two of swords here. It's, they want to show you how much they care about you. Um, this person could be coming in with, you know, an offer um, that had to do with a decision. A head over heart decision. But their heart won. They, I feel like they see you as someone that's very, you know, upkept. Even on the days, like, you don't feel like you're beautiful. This person just sees you, like, as being very, very sexy. I feel a lot that this person wants to role play. definitely a lot of role play um okay another thing that i'm picking up here this person and make sure you guys take what resonates may want a threesome because three art is here but for some of you i feel like that was a you know a situation that happened that's no longer a part of what this connection is and that's why this person wants to come in and Kind of wine and dine you. Show you off. But they want to claim their prize. They want to let it be known that, you know, it is what it is. You are theirs. And vice versa. I feel like this person may be into like that dominatrix type stuff. If they haven't experienced, you know, whips and handcuffs and chains like that, they want to do that with you. They, It's another card in the deck. And if that card pops out, you guys, I'm telling you that. Like, this person is really into that. They may not have spoken about it, or it may have been like a brief conversation but this person, again, this role play is so strong here. Like, they just want to switch things up. They don't want it to always be the same thing over and over again. And with the Seven of Chalices being here, it could be a situation with this cup, and you have the turtle here. So it could have been a situation where this is a slow-moving connection, but it could have ultimately... Excuse me. <laughs> it could have ultimately been karmic situations that had to clear out first but this person with the seven of cups being here 
dreams about having this passion with you. This could be if you haven't um, been doing anything lately. This could be in their mind, in their dream state. And then again, again, with this, uh, the wheel being here with three people, this could ultimately be you, but in like different forms of you as being, you know, three women being here. Like, you know, one day, you know, the animal role play, the next day, the fire chief, something like that, you guys, like, that's definitely what I'm feeling here. But this person just wants to please you. And it's, the energy is vice versa. I feel like this person wants to be in control. Definitely with this situation. They want to be in control here. And it's not the type of control like you're like, oh, always in control. Like, I want to take control sometimes. No, they just want to please you. Like, they want to give you what you've been owed. I feel like I keep hearing, like, it's been a long time coming. Someone, this person, um, favorite position could be missionary. Um... But it's it's just that doesn't really you know matter because I feel like it's a lot of things that's gonna happen here. The two of chalices, the two of cups. This person wants to be naked with you, and when I say naked, I mean they want to be open. They want to explore. The next card we do have is the Three of Wands. So it could be something that's very weighted on. But I feel like... Hmm. Again, it's a lot of nature here. It's the summertime, so it could be a lot of... That could be why. But it's kind of the energy of no matter where you guys are, that passion is sparked heavy. And, you know, just wanting to jump your bones each time you see each other. Again, this person could be waiting on this encounter, could be waiting on this fresh new start with this wheel being here for you guys to come back together to embrace each other. And that's when the two cups take off because it's like... It's been long waited for. The build-up is real. <laughs> I feel like this person, it's not all about this encounter with this person. Because, yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's about this exchange, of course. But... I feel like it's more to them about bringing their love in towards you, opening up to you, because I feel like you've opened up to them, and they just want to return that emotion. Because if you look at this Two of Cups, they both just have their shirts off. Well, let me see. Yeah, they both have their shirts off. He doesn't have his pants off. So I don't know if she has, you know, her bottoms off, if she had a dress on or not, you know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure she has a dress on because in every, everything she has a dress on. It could be you guys going out on trips together or going to functions and yeah, getting it on at functions. Like the, the fire here is burning, okay? I'm drawing back to this card. <laughs> Why? Let's see. If you are not thinking of someone, you could meet someone while you're on vacation. If it's not vacation, like a 
it's gonna be a gathering and this person is gonna knock your socks off um you could lose a shoe at this particular occasion but whoever it is is gonna be you're, you're just gonna feel the chemistry right away It's going to be like your knight in shining armor. If you don't have anyone in mind. We have the seven of pentacles here. Ooh, one second. The three of wands is giving me travel. You both could meet up. It could be communication about meeting up together and the embrace of meeting up is going to be yearning for each other touch and kiss um we do have the seven of pentacles here so it's that i, I want to tire you out energy it could have to do with um drinking candles so like a romantic night but it's She's knocked out. His eyes are halfway open. Like I keep hearing Etta, what is her name? Etta James, I think. At last. I'm probably going to have to listen to that when I'm done with this. But yeah, I keep hearing that. Like, at last my love has come along. Mm. It's the energy of, I finally found someone that meets me at the same level. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like this person feels like you're a wish come true. You're a gift. They could want to give you a gift. This is like the hand fasting red cord as well for... um. commitment again I do feel like this person wants to claim their prize I do feel like you bring out the best in each other you feel so safe in their arms or you feel so safe around them and it's the same to you this person could love to cuddle But it's like when you guys are together, nothing in the world matters. I mean, also you handle your business, but it's that, that long lasting energy that this will never die. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though the candles are lit, like the candles will never burn out. The fire will never die. And also the Ace of Pentacles could be, you know, having to do with this love before it maybe wasn't offered and now it's being offered. I feel like someone in the past could have been hiding who they truly were because there's an energy of not really wanting to open up. But when this person comes around you, it's undeniable. Like, they, they can't not not open up. There's something about you that just gets them going. Like, you relax them. 
we have the nine of chalices, which is the nine of cups. So again, this is like the wish fulfillment. Hmm. I feel like for some reason I feel like this person is hoping that you accept their offer they could have had like a, a bad situation in the past where Either someone accepted their offer, offer but didn't hold up to the bargain, you know what I'm saying? Or it was turned down or they feel like you're going to turn it down, but you're ultimately their wish fulfillment. Because to me, like them sitting together right here is... I was not going to say it, but it's either now or never. Because they know if they let you go, they won't find another like you. She's contemplating this situation. For some of you, this could be something that's fresh, something that's new. So that's why you're contemplating, you know what's really going on you know is this person just here for this situation i don't feel like that person this person is just here for that okay i feel like this person wants things to last and to grow and to build we have the sun card Again, another card of new beginnings here with, with the king of chalices, the king of cups. So again, this person is like, they adore you. The energy, oh my goodness. It's like, this person again has a stone cold look on their face, but deep down, these cards over here shows vulnerability. This king, stone face. Straight stone face. But he's petting her head. Showing her the affection. Showing her how much he care. Letting her know that his love is only for her. I feel like this person is very loyal. When they're in a commitment, they don't they don't dibble and dab beyond that. Oh, whoa, okay. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, sorry you guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have the Ten of Wands being here. Laying down the burden of not speaking up of how they feel. Because they were that stone face before it was the energy of, okay, you know, I want you. I, you know, it's more than want. It's like obsessed. I fantasize about you. I daydream about you. I dream every every second I open my eyes, you come to my head. Your name pops in my head. Like, this person really adores you. We have the death card here. So, wanting this new beginning to take off and to be open about it. To explore I feel like this person is finally honoring their emotions in this situation. They're opening up to this situation. It's kind of saying like you have the key to their heart. You have the key to them. And they, have, they haven't found anyone like that. So if you are in separation, that could have been why this person ran away. Because 
these emotions are so deep here that I feel like this person feel as though if they lose you, that's going to be it for them. Like, that, that's it. But I don't, I don't feel like you feel the same way. Like, they're not going to lose you. I just feel like this person feels like anytime something good happens in them in their life it's always some type of karmic situation lurking around but with the world and the sun card being here this is a new cycle beginning this is that old baggage with the ten of wands Wait, where is the ten of wands you guys let me see ten of wands here okay the old baggage is gone. So this is for sure, for sure. And the death card being here, this is a new beginning taken off. The rebirth of this relationship or this situation if you're not in a relationship yet. And the card that I said in the beginning came out, you guys. The Ace of Swords. So, yes. In the beginning, okay, yeah, they dominated. They, they probably didn't flip that thing twirl that thing, want to twirl that thing, gonna get that thing, however you want to say it. But when the roles are reversed, this person wants you to take control. This person wants you to do whatever you please. Tie them up if you want to tie them up. Take control because I feel like this person has always been the one that was in control, that now they want someone else to take control. I feel like this person is just like, you know, they're not into a lot of things, but with you, everything's on the table. Except for, you know, some things, but everything is definitely on the table here. Okay, you guys, so that's all I'm getting from this reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't given the video a thumbs up, please give the video a thumbs up. And if your bell notifications are not turned on, please go ahead and turn your, your bell notifications on. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next readings. Have a great day. Bye.